Hello, everyone, uh, and uh, welcome, albeit virtually, to uh, the Department of Computer Science uh, at Reykjavik University. Uh, as you can see on the on the slide, I'm Luca Cieto. I'm the chair of the Department of Computer Science. I'm going to do this presentation in English because otherwise it would be even more fun than it's already going to be, but for all the wrong reasons. Uh, so uh, let's stick to English. Uh, as I said before, welcome. Let me tell you that your heart is in the right place because by showing up at this presentation, uh, uh, you're showing us that you're interested in computer science as a subject, which in my admittedly biased opinion is one of the most interesting topics you could possibly want to study under the sky today. And not just today, but also for the foreseeable future. My job here is not to sort of sell you computer science and how cool it is. Uh, there are videos that you can watch at the link that we provided in the chat to this presentation and that are also present uh, on, uh, on these slides later on that will uh, sort of entice you uh, to uh, study this subject even more than before. Uh, my job is to give you a very brief introduction to the department and to the things that we do and the type of things that you could possibly study if you decided to join uh, one of our study lines. So uh, not only your heart is in the right place, but if you want to study computer science in Iceland, you're also at Reykjavik University in the right place to do so. Let me try to convince you of this fact. First of all, I think anybody would agree with the fact that Reykjavik University is the home of computer science in Iceland. Let me give you some data. Our department is uh, the largest and most research active computer science department uh, in the country. Now, don't take my word for it. Just look us up on Google and see what research, what activity, what scientific activity the members of the department carry out. It's also a very international department. Uh, at my last count, forgetting about the students, we have uh, people from at least 16, 16 countries being represented at the department. Why does this matter, you might say? Well, it does matter because people with a variety of backgrounds contribute a variety of opinions, a variety of approaches, a variety of pedagogical uh, approaches to teaching computer science that benefit the whole community. Not only many minds think better than one mind, but also if these minds are trained uh, following a variety of cultures, then uh, the result is going to be a highly stimulating environment for everyone. International also means that we have a large cooperation network throughout the world of trusted colleagues and kindred spirits that we bring to bear to every activity within the department, from teaching undergraduate students to research activity. Talking about students, we have about 900 of those uh, typically over the, the three years uh, of the bachelor education, the two years of the master, and the three years of the PhD degrees that we offer, and an increasing number of them are women. So sort of today we are talking about roughly 28%. Again, that's important, that's fundamental, because people with different backgrounds bring different approaches to our field and to the life of the department as a whole. We also graduate about 20, 200 students per year, which is about 75% of all the computer scientists in Iceland. So if you meet a computer scientist out there, uh, the chances are he or she has studied at Reykjavik University. So what is it that we have to offer, pedagogically speaking, uh, and what kind of degree courses do we have? Which, which are the things that I guess you're most interested in? Well, if you join Reykjavik University uh, in the future, you will be able to study for a variety of degrees. 
computer science degree that comes uh, sort of from the diploma two-year course up to PhD, software engineering degree at uh, the bachelor and master level, a degree, a combined uh, bachelor degree in discrete mathematics and computer science. So if you're interested in mathematics and you're also interested in computer science, I have good news for you. You don't actually have to choose. You can have both the cake and eat it at the same time. So you can follow a special line of study which uh, allows you to build on your mathematical interests and uh, uh, will allow you to become a problem solver uh, using computer science techniques. We also have for the future a master degree in language technology. This is the branch of computer science uh, that studies how machines can help us uh, sort of uh, understand natural language. Think about Google Translate, for instance, translating automatically from one language to the next. And some of the tools that are developed by our colleagues work in, uh, in language technology are used every day by Althingi, for instance, uh, for doing automatic transcription of the speeches uh, that the politicians give there. That's not done by humans, it's done by machines. And these machines, these algorithms have been developed by our colleagues. The new kid on the block is a master degree in data science and applied data science. Now, I mentioned before uh, that we have a large network of international corporations, and this shows up uh, in uh, the internship agreements and the international degrees that we are able to offer. For instance, every year we send about 10 students to the Fraunhofer Center for Experimental Software Engineering at the University of Maryland. We are very selective. We send them uh, only our very best applicants, but this means that sort of they want more and more of our students because they are very happy with it. So the students go there, they sort of do work that counts towards their final degree. They get paid while they are there and uh, they have a great time. We also have a, a, an internship agreement with CCP Games. I guess many of you know EVE Online uh, and several of our students who have participated in the internship agreement with CCP have then been hired by CCP itself. We have uh, two master degrees which are uh, international in nature. One is a double degree with the University of Camerino in Italy, and another one is a Nordic master in intelligent software systems in cooperation with Melardalen University in Sweden and the Obo Academy in Finland. According, following this agreement, we get students from these universities to spend some of their studies at the Reykjavik University, and we send some of our students to Melardalen and to Turku. A very important component of our education has always been some form of cooperation with industry, and I guess the traditional and most visible way in which we do so, apart from the internship agreements, is by means of our bachelor final projects, uh, which one can do in cooperation with a variety of industrial concerns. So basically, any firm that does any form of software development in, uh, in Iceland has supervised some of our final projects at some point. So you're uh, perhaps most interested in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in our educational offer, but I want to say two words uh, about, uh, about research. Not only uh, Reykjavik University is the home of computer science education in Iceland, but it's also the home of computer science research in Iceland. And here you can see the list of our research centers spanning all kinds of activities from AI to language and voice lab. Uh, they take care of the master in language technology, the center of financial technology where uh, tools from computer science are used to uh, improve uh, financial uh, decisions, uh, theoretical computer science, uh, sort of research and development on engineering software systems. Now you may say, why should I be interested in research? I'm only interested in teaching. Well, the fact is that our teaching is research-based. Why is that important? Well, it's important because the teachers who actually deliver the courses 
that you will take if you join us are actually people who advance the state of the art in our field. In computer science, that's absolutely vital because sort of technology and tools and techniques are being developed at breakneck speed. If you don't produce new knowledge yourself, what you will be able to teach is going to be stale in zero time. Moreover, we offer our students from day one the possibility of embarking in undergraduate research opportunities, which means that you might become embedded into one of these research centers and perhaps those uh, that will be created uh, while uh, your students at Reykjavik University in computer science and actually get your hands dirty and get the experience for credit to uh, do research work which means you might even get papers published under your name, or if this doesn't happen, you will still contribute to the advancement of the state of the heart in computer science. Again, you should never take my word or uh, the word of any salesman or salesperson uh, for what they say. You should always seek uh, independent opinion. And regarding our research, uh, let me just quote what the Norwegians uh, have, to say, have to say at some point. Well, sort of the Norwegian universities, the Norwegian Ministry for Education commit commissioned to an independent uh, uh, agency, a report with the aim of uh, uh, identifying what fields uh, of science Norwegian universities would benefit from cooperation with foreign universities the most. And for each of these fields, with what universities? Well, information and communication technology was one of the fields that they identified as being beneficial for cooperation between Norwegian universities and foreign universities. And within computer science, Reykjavik University was mentioned together with uh, very famous universities like the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, and so on, which uh, is pretty good if you ask me. So how about your future? Well, by taking a degree in computer science and, or related topics and by taking it at Reykjavik University, you will become uh, black belts in the martial art of computational problem solving. And this is kind of what your brain will look like after training. You will see that sort of uh, our courses, our degree courses, sort of really train you to use the tools of computational thinking to solve problems in society at large. And computer science, on the one hand, can do great good. On the other hand, it can also do something which is uh, not so good for society as a whole. It will be important for you in the future to use the superpowers that you will get by taking a degree in computer science for the common good. So what is it that you might become? Here are two examples of two of our former students. Uh, you will see on, uh, well, at least uh, it's my left. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be there. on the left side of your screen. There is Thomas Ken Magnusson, who's now a software engineering en engineer at Google. He has a master degree from us. On the right, uh, here you have Ulda Lilia, uh, who's now a master student at ETH Zurich, which is one of the top universities in the world and as a, one of the strongest computer science departments in the world. Uh, she's also a, a sailor. Uh, she sort of, sort of competes in the sailing. For you, who are in the center, uh, represented by Bud's light here, embarking in the study of computer science for, uh, with us will be the beginning of a journey to infinity and beyond. And I have no idea what the end of this journey will be, what kind of job you will be doing, because you will shape it yourself. So here's my take home message. I hope I've convinced you that computer science at Reykjavik University is a great blend of active researchers, leading educators experimenting on the pedagogical front, and a bunch of committed students like Thomas Ken and uh, Ulda Lilia. Studying computer science at Reykjavik University is a lot of work. 
In fact, studying computer science is a lot of work anywhere, but it's a lot of fun. And it will really give you some superpowers to shape the future. And uh, as I've told you before, we prepared some sample videos that I encourage you to look at. The link that you see here is uh, uh, also available in the chat, so you can copy paste it and uh, use it at your leisure. The slides are also available for a link at the chat. It's a computer science student at Reykjavik University. And uh, uh, on uh, the uh, 25th of November, I understand that SISTUR is organizing a lunch event uh, where uh, there will be a discussion, a panel discussion uh, of the, uh, the social dilemma, the Netflix documentary that some of you, that some of you might have watched. Now, yes. Samuel is asking a very good question. What is the main difference between computer science and DIMAX? Uh, the main difference is that sort of the students in uh, the discrete mathematics and computer science uh, line, the DIMAX, they take more mathematical courses than uh, uh, the students in computer science. So they, uh, uh, it's a trade-off, sort of, uh, they trade some of the uh, courses uh, that computer scientists take with some uh, mathematics courses that the computer scientists don't take. The commonality is that both degree courses uh, really make you a black belt in computational problem solving. Uh, the DIMAX students have more of uh, a mathematical modeling uh, bent than the computer scientists. But in both cases, we are talking about uh, problem solving with the help of computers, of computation, computational techniques. So uh, if uh, you're thinking about studying mathematics because you burn for mathematics, perhaps DIMAX is, uh, is more the line for you. Uh, if you want to continue honing your mathematical uh, skills, uh, but with the added benefit of uh, uh, having a computational bent, which mathematicians usually don't take, don't get. Okay, so Sigurd Bjorn asks, uh, uh, are there, uh, uh, is it, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I cannot read the whole message, just a second. So, uh, Sigrun, I don't know if I understand the question 100%, but is it related to the possibility of doing a, a diploma with, with work? Yes, whether it's taking too long, or how people have felt doing that with work. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, there is plenty of flexibility. Sort of uh, the diploma now. Uh, the diploma line is uh, two years, uh, and uh, how quickly you go through it really depends on you. We also have uh, computer science with work, our school in which is especially designed for students who are uh, working. Uh, sort of for our school, maybe you have, uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, lab sessions, exercise sessions in the evenings at special times with special instructors. Uh, but uh, you're supposed to follow the lectures of the course uh, at the usual time, but most of the lectures are actually recorded, so you can uh, watch them whenever it suits you. So basically, you decide how quickly uh, you want to go through the, uh, the education. There is another question. If I would like to take, for example, physics with my DIMAX or CS degree, how would that work? Uh, so uh, you can do that. You can do that. We have the possibility. Uh, so you can take a variety of electives. In fact, for, for the computer science, the computer science degree is by far the degree at Reykjavik University that gives you the most flexibility to take electives from uh, uh, even even from other uh, from other uh, school departments at Reykjavik University. So you can certainly take physics uh, both with DIMAX and the CS if you would like to do so. All right. It seems that there are no more questions at this point. Okay. Can you contact so, uh, us. 
Yeah, so let me reiterate that uh, sort of I strongly encourage you to uh, uh, look at the videos uh, on uh, the web page that we pointed out. We have selected uh, uh, a number of videos that uh, uh, will give you an indication of what the teaching looks like at Reykjavik University. So you will be able to watch a video uh, related to the first programming course that we teach in the first semester of the first year. You will be able to watch a video of uh, a, a, an exercise session in the Discrete Mathematics 1 course, where uh, one of our uh, favorite TAs, Alvur, uh, is sort of uh, giving a lecture using uh, a glass whiteboard. Uh, there is a trailer for the new technology course. And uh, uh, there is an interview with one of our video with one of our students at the Pieters Dottir. And then if uh, you have trouble falling asleep, there is also my message uh, encouraging you to study computer science. In any event, sort of, uh, you will have plenty of opportunities uh, to ask questions. Uh, sort of, you can drop us a line uh, if, uh, if anything else comes to mind later on. Okay, thank you very much. Shall we call it a day? And thank you very much, as Sigrun says. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at the department uh, next year or whenever it will be.